Um, on you, when uh, you ready? Yeah, can I record as well, please, Jordan? Sorry, mate. You should have that now. Thank you. Hi, Rodrigo. Hello. How are you? Very good. Thanks for doing this. No, no problem. Uh, can we start then, Rodrigo? You've had a lot of starts lately, probably your, your best run at Leeds. How much do you feel you're influencing the team now and the way that they play? I feel really, really, really happy and comfortable to have some uh, some play uh, games in a row. For me, it's very important. For me and for every player, it's important to to be able to play to play more games as possible. I, I think uh, we are now as a team in a in a in a good way. Uh, we know that we didn't start the season as uh, as we want. Uh, but I think uh, at the same time that we deserve a little bit more than we have in terms of, of points, in my opinion. And, uh, and that's it. I feel I feel good. I feel comfortable and I feel happy, especially the last game with the, the first win of the season for us. Do you feel we're seeing the proper Rodrigo now? Yeah, I think uh, we, we, in my, in my, myself, I, I always uh, expect uh, something else for myself, you know. So uh, uh, it's true that uh, I think I'm playing well, but uh, we I always have something to improve, always have something to do better. Uh, but uh, but uh, to be honest, uh, to be honest, at the same time, I'm really happy to to be able to play uh, very a lot of games in in uh, in a row and and uh, and in my opinion, help the team with good performances, uh, uh, with good performances. Where do you feel you need to improve, Rodrigo? Uh, I think uh, uh, I, 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 I would like to, to score more goals. Uh, it's true. Uh, I'm playing as, as an attacker, player, as a striker, or as, a, or as, a, or, or as a number 10. Uh, uh, it's true that I'm trying to do my, I'm trying to do my best, but, uh, but it's true that I, I can, I, I feel that I, that I can do better. Um, and uh, and maybe be more part particip participative, even more in the in the in the attack game of the team. Yeah, I know that I have a, we have a style that uh, uh, we need to defend a lot. The attacker players we need to press a lot, uh, and at the same time we have to be able to to to, to mark the, the difference in in attack also. So so that's it. Do you feel that the team is creating enough chances for you now? Yeah, I think the team is creating a, a lot of chances for everyone. I think in the, in the game against Newcastle, uh, we create a lot of chances, and in the game against West Ham, the same. And especially the other day, I think we 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 did our best game. We dominated the game from the beginning until the end. We 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 create enough chances to, for sure, score more goals. Uh, but sometimes in football, it happens. You create a lot of chances, and you don't uh, and you don't score enough. And sometimes the other, the opposite. Uh, the game against Berlin, for example, we didn't create too much chances, and we we draw the game with with a uh, with a uh, a play from uh, a play for from from nothing. So so that's it. We we just have to to keep working and and try to to take advantage of this of this uh, of this uh, part of the game. Marcelo never seems to get too concerned about. Um people missing chances, Rodrigo. He seems to sort of leave it a little bit, almost to fate, as long as chances are being created. Um, how much work do you do yourself, though, on finishing and scoring goals? Do you, do you take yourself away and do work on your own? Yeah, of course. Uh, apart from the from the collective drills that we did here for for finishing, for crossings, for, for the last part of the game, uh, the attackers, players, we, are try we, we all... I'll try to do an extra, an extra, an extra work or an extra job to to, to try to, to 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 get confidence and to improve. Uh, that's that's part of our of our day by day here, and then and, and that's it. Furpo has arrived from Spain, and um, you did similar as well, Rodrigo. How difficult is it to settle in at the beginning? Because it's taken him a little while to. Maybe show what he's going to bring to the team. Yeah, I think uh, 
every time that you move for a new club is is always dif- is always difficult. Uh, uh, especially if you move for a different country, we know that uh, we have a a, a different style uh, in the physical point of view. Uh, I think it's really really hard. Uh, and and of course the the rhythm of the of the Premier League is different of uh, of the Spanish of the Spanish football, no. Uh, but I think he he he's doing very well. I think is 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 quite normal what what you are saying about him. And uh, I I see him very happy here and and try to like like everyone here try to do his best for the team. Have you had quite a lot of? Or have you given him quite a lot of help and advice since he's been here? Yeah, I try, I try me and everyone, but maybe with me, with Rafa, he has a, a closer relationship with Diego also. Uh, uh, I try to, everyone try to help him, everyone try to help each other. And then, and, and that's it. That's part of the, of the spirit of this, of this group and uh, the spirit of this club. Uh, Rodrigo, one of the big talking points at the moment is the vaccination of players. We understand that Leeds have got a very high rate of vaccination. What's your view on whether players should or or should be vaccinated? I think is a of course is a is a difficult is a difficult uh, topic. Uh, it's true that uh, people have have to be freedom to choose if they want to be vaccinated or not. In my opinion, I think the vaccination is very important. I took the the two doses of the vaccine. My family. Uh, uh, my friends, uh, I think is uh, is is really important uh, uh, to be vaccinated against this uh, this uh, this uh, the COVID, and uh, I think help everyone to 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 keep to keep moving, help the world to keep moving, and uh, and that. But that's just my opinion, you know. Uh, I think people have to do what they what they think about it what what they what they what they think is 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 correct but uh, in my opinion i think it's very very important to be vaccinated thank you for that and finally for me um spain beat italy oh <laughs> wow what a result you end this massive run for for italy um a how proud of you of your your team and and realistically do you think you can get back into it as well yeah i think uh, i work for it uh, every player have the have the, the objective, the goal, uh, the dream to to represent the country, uh, to play uh, between the best of the country, and then and I'm not different. Um, I understand that Spain, like England, have really really good players, a lot of good players in the in the different positions, uh, and uh, and and that's it. But apart apart of apart from that, I'm really really happy. I watched the game. Of course, I watched the game yesterday. Really happy for my for, from Spain, for my colleague, for my teammates, uh, and uh, and I think they will they will hope they will win the the Nations League next next Sunday. <laughs> good good luck with that. As we'll see you at Southampton. Okay, thanks. Thanks, bye. We've got to Graham. You should be able to unmute yourself. Hello, Rodrigo. Um, I wanted to ask how differently do you think you play the striker role? To the way Patrick plays it, what are the differences? Yeah, I think uh, uh, Patrick is an amazing player, but uh, it's clear that we have different uh, kind of styles or different. Uh, we are different players. Uh, I think uh, when I play as a number nine, I drop a little bit more than him. He look more for the spaces. He he is a player. He's more like a uh, 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 number nine that. Uh, uh, stays in the, in the area, uh, waiting for the chance, and uh, and uh, and uh, and I I try to 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 help more in the construction of the team, uh, try to 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 be able to to go for the sides also helping the wingers, um, but that's it. Uh, in football, you have uh, different style of players. You have uh, defensive fullbacks, offensive fullbacks, uh, midfields that can play box to box or more defensive ones. Uh, number nines that can play more in the area and number nines that have more mobility. Um, but I think that uh, that's very good for the group because you have uh, in the same in different position. In this case, in the same position as a striker, players that have different. Uh, 
styles of football. I don't know if you saw, but last season, John Joe Shelby of Newcastle told a story about he on the pitch. He uh, he said he asked you to stop running because you wouldn't stop running. You're running everywhere, and he didn't seem to understand the reason for the running. Um, so I wanted to ask: Is it difficult to learn the theory of the Leeds United press? Because it's not just a case of chasing down the goalkeeper when he when he gets a back pass. Um, and how challenging is it to to do it well? Yeah, I think play against us is is really uncomfortable. Uh, I think the 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 the, the, op- the opponents feel uh, really uncomfortable because you you always have uh, or almost you always have a player behind you. Uh, you never feel free or uh, with time to think what you are going to do with the ball because immediately that when you get the ball you you receive a pressure from from a player and uh and uh we are a really good uh, team uh, prepared very prepared team in a physical point of view uh, so that means that uh, you think that we start the game in a high intensity and it will decrease uh, during the game but uh, 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 this doesn't happen so we we are able to maintain a high intensity during the 90 minutes. So I think it's, it's quite, uh, I can imagine that it's quite uncomfortable to play, play against us. But for, of course, for, for us, it's really demanding. It's really hard to keep this high intensity during 90 games, during the whole season. Um, but uh, but I think it's one of our secrets, no? I think uh, the the... the the secret of of Leeds is, is uh, of course in the individual individual, but especially in the in the in the way that we work in the collective in the as a collective. Brilliant! Thanks very much. Okay, thanks. Thanks for your time, Rodrigo. It's much appreciated. Um, we obviously know how important the Watford game was, not it, the weekend, and winning that match just felt quite critical. Was there any particular message or? sort of rousing speech from people like Liam Cooper or, or Stuart Dallas in the dressing room? What was the mood like in the team before that game, given what was at stake? I think uh, uh, be- before the game, uh, the team, uh, of course, feel uh, the necessity to win, not the pressure, but the necessity that we had to win. Uh, uh, but the confidence at the same time, because uh, we, th- we thought that we deserve more in terms of points before the game. I think we did a really great game against uh, Newcastle, really great game against West Ham also. Uh, games that we we could win, we should win, uh, uh, but uh, but didn't happen. Um, so uh, the feeling was that the, the, the necessity of win, but at the same time, the confidence that we were in, this, in, a, in a good uh, way. And uh, we faced the game uh, as always. Uh, try to start the game uh, with a big intensity. Try to impose our style as, as since the start of the game. And uh, and I think we 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 could do that uh, on the game. Uh, as I told to your uh, colleague, I think we we, we create enough chances to score more goals. Two, one, one at least. Uh, uh, and uh, and I think uh, it's true that the the, the the victory before the the international break g- gave us a, a, a calm, gave us a, a confidence, uh, and uh, and uh, and the, the show was that we 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 were right before the before the game. You're obviously born in Brazil, Rodrigo, and you seem to be developing a chemistry with Rafinha. Can you describe your relationship with him on the pitch and off it and, and, and how that's developing for you? Because we can see from the stands that, that you two are, are so in tune with each other on the pitch. Yeah, I think uh, Rafinha is, a, is a, well, apart from an amazing player, that I think he's showing his, uh, his quality since he arrived here last season. I'm really, really happy with him because uh, we established a really a good relationship uh, uh, between uh, each other and between our families uh, since uh, since uh, last year, especially last year, because we we couldn't do nothing with the lockdown sort of situation and everything. So we spent a lot of time together. And uh, in a short period of time, we create a really, really, really good re- relationship. So uh, uh, I think this good relationship outside of the field transferred for the field so 
I think we we understand each other uh, really well, and uh, and I'm really happy for for him, for the national team, for what he's doing here, and uh, for the the guy that he is uh, because he's a uh, he's a brilliant person also. Can you give us any insight into, into what an international break is like for a player that doesn't go away with their country? So what does Marcelo do with you guys? How much time do you get off? What what do you work on when so many people are missing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we after the game we 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 have uh, some some days off. Uh, I think uh, it's important also uh, if you have time rest uh, physically and mentally uh, because the, the competition is 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 quite hard. And uh, apart from that, uh, the, the the week is is is, is quite similar of a, a normal week. It's true that we have less players. Uh, but we try to adapt adapt it uh, with uh, the players with the under twenty threes and uh, and uh, and that's it. But the, the structure of the of the week is 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 quite similar from a, a normal week of competition. Thank you for your time, Stuart Renner, please. Hi, Rodrigo. Thanks for uh, thanks for talking to us. Um, you had a very disrupted season last season with your illness and your injuries. How long did it take for you to feel? really comfortable as a Leeds United player? I mean, I, I feel comfortable since, since I arrived, to be honest. Uh, it's true that these, uh, these, uh, these moments uh, didn't help. Uh, but, uh, but I mean, I'm, I'm 30. I understand that this kind of situations happen sometimes. Uh, I, I knew before I came here that uh, always when you get to a new club, new country, a uh, new style of football, new league, everything sometimes uh, takes a little bit of time. Uh, it's true that the, 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 the different situations uh, didn't help, but, uh, but uh, really I, I, I always feel comfortable here with the, with the team, with the club, with the, with the fans in the last game, since the last game when they start to go to the, to the stadium. And uh, I think that uh, this year uh, I have the, the lucky and the capacity to play a uh, lot of games, uh, a sequence of, of games. And I think this for me is, uh, is really important for my style of, of play. I need to be sharp. I need to, to be uh, with agility, with, uh, with power, uh, to, 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 to try to unbalance, to try to make the difference. And, uh, and and that's it. That's that's what I can I say to you. I mean, Marcelo says to us quite often that he feels you're a player who needs that rhythm, that, that sequence of games. So do, do you feel now that you've had it, that you're at, at your level, really, in terms of your performances? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm really close to it. I, as I said to our colleague, I, I have some some small things to 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 polish and uh, and to and try to improve. Uh, but I think I'm I'm on a I'm on a I'm on a good way now. Um, I'm really I'm really happy with my performances uh, the last games, uh, especially when when uh, when we win uh, because uh, that's why we are here. We are here to win. Uh, uh, that's why uh, give, give us energy for the next game and to overcome everything, the difficulties that we have during the week, uh, the difficulties of the injuries, the difficulties of the of the opponent. Uh, 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 so I think uh, I'm probably in, in one of my best moments here, and I just want to work uh, to to maintain it, and of course to improve the small thing that I have to to improve. And you mentioned earlier the, the the mood before the Watford game. I mean, do do you feel that the level of the team this season has been better than than the results would say? And and how difficult or easy has it been to? Sort of keep calm and keep that perspective before the first win. Yeah, I think uh, uh, now now that we 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 achieved the first win, uh, we cannot uh, lose the, the the ambition and the and the mentality that that before, uh, uh, because sometimes uh, when you have the necessity to win, you are you are always more. Uh, uh, Warn about the the what go, going going to be ha- going going happen. Uh, so no, I think now we have to to just keep the the, the same mentality. Uh, I think we are in a, in a good way. We we achieve what we want is the first win, and uh, and uh, and and I hope that we can uh, keep this this prog- progression from the from the from the beginning of the season. 
until until the next international break, for example. Can we go to Mark Walker, please? Hi, Rodrigo. Hello. Um, last week's game between Liverpool and Manchester City, um, some commentators said that that showcased the Premier League as the strongest in the world. Uh, would, would you agree with that assessment? Yeah, by far. I think uh, uh, last season, in my opinion, the two best leagues in the world was the Spanish one and the, and the Premier. Uh, I think last season, the, the, the difference between the Premier and uh, La Liga and of course, with the other ones, increase a little bit. Uh, but uh, this summer, uh, I think it's, it's clear that the, the, the Premier League uh, uh, t- took a, a big advantage between the uh, the other leagues. Uh, we 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 can see um, week in and week out that uh, it's really hard to get the results. Uh, all the teams are really competitive. Uh, the big teams, the top six, are even better than last season. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so uh, I'm totally agree that the, the Premier League uh, nowadays is by far, with a big difference, the best league, uh, the best league in the world. How big is the gap, Rodrigo, between the top six and Leeds United? And in your opinion, do you think Leeds are closing this gap? I mean, uh, it's difficult. It's difficult to 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 speak about it. I think, uh, of course, uh, nowadays we want everything for the, the day after, uh, but we have to 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 keep in our minds that we are a team that stays for a long time uh, in the championship and in, in some years in the in the league one also. We we got promoted just for just last season. So we did a really uh, great first season in the Premier League. This is our second season. And uh, and each year will be a, a, a bigger challenge. I think uh, last season, the expectation of people were lower than this year. And uh, and this uh, and this pressure uh, for, 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 for us, the players, for the club, for the staff, is uh, is of course uh, each year will be bigger, so we have to maintain the calm. I think we 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 are doing a a really great job. I think the club have been doing a really great job the last five four or five years, and uh, and uh, and trying to grow uh, and try to grow step by step because uh, that will be the base for the future. I think. Who's the best? Team you faced, Rodrigo, in the Premier League. Uh, this season, that this season, the, the teams that we face, uh, in my opinion, uh, are Man United. Man United is really, really strong. Uh, and when we faced them, they didn't, they didn't uh, had uh, Ronaldo on that time. Uh, I think uh, Ronaldo is a player that uh, uh, he ha- has a has a big impact in in everything that he went. Because uh, he he's a, a great leader, he's an example for 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 the other ones, and uh, and uh, he has the respect of the opponents. No, I think when when you face a team with Ronaldo, the same team when you face the same team with Ronaldo and without him, uh, it's true that the respect of the of the opponent uh, is not the same. So, uh, but we have now this season we have Man City, we have. Uh, Man United, Chelsea uh, did uh, great signs also, so uh, will be hard. Will be hard to 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 say uh, who will be the champion this this year. All right, guys. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you. Cheers, Thanks guys. You. Okay. Bye. Thanks. Bye bye. Thank you. Yep.